Welcome to another Cancun video series. On this series, we are exploring the Rotor in Cancun Riviera Maya. We'll be showing daily vlogs of our stay here as we explore the beach, kids' pool area, phone party, pool, food, music, and room tour. Also, we will have a comprehensive review of the hotel that you will not want to miss. I hope you will watch the entire video as it helps us with the algorithm. Also, if you enjoy watching this video and the series, please don't forget to smack that like button and if you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Let's go! For day two, our day started with breakfast at the Gourmet Marché, which is the buffet restaurant that offers a variety of food items. This is one of the few restaurants that are open for breakfast. It is mostly busy between the hours of 9 to 11, so recommendations to go earlier in order to start your day with peace and quiet. Since the kids wanted to check out the kids clubhouse and wanted to have alone time, we dropped them there. They have different type of activities for them each day. If you are traveling with your kids and you're looking for alone time, take advantage of this park available. So just walking and uh, this one thing we do when we go on vacation or we travel with the kids is we look at resorts that have a uh, children's place or what's it, what do they call it most of the kids club? Yeah, yeah. they have activities for them to do. So they have activity plan right now. So they're doing that right now. And we are spending basically a quality time together. So it gives us the ability to have a quiet time together, just enjoying the time and that's what we're doing yep. here at the beach while the kids are having fun time at the kids club so we can't wait to hear from them or how their day went after our much needed quality time we picked up the kids and went for lunch at the italian restaurant called gratti this restaurant is located by the kids pool area which is really convenient for parents. You can enjoy lunch and then go back into enjoying the pool activities. This restaurant was good but not great. But if you are looking for pizza, pasta or even Italian cuisine, this is the place for you. Given that this restaurant is by the family side of the resort, we were able to take advantage of daily scheduled activities available such as kids riding the pool speeding boat. Recommendation is to always check the list of activities that are readily available for you to enjoy while you are at the resort. Anyways, I have not been really updating. So we moved, we changed rooms because we had a lot of issues with our room. Anyways, during our first day of stay, if you have not checked that video, please check it out. We had issues with our first room such as mosquitoes and the bathroom door being locked. The hotel decided to change our room on another building with ocean views and still with the pool. We will speak more on this issue on our hotel review video, so stay tuned for that. So the question is how were we able to book this room with the swim up? Actually it was available during our booking time online. And also as an elite member, we do get access or upgrade that is available. So when we booked using Point on this stay, I actually requested that they will do an upgrade for us and they actually did. And so this is the room type that we got, which is the swim out pool. And the other thing that I wanted to mention about this new room that we got is actually in the more quiet area. So it's not loud at all. And there's only about, I think, 
two extra rooms or three rooms on, on the same side of our, of our uh, room side, which is really good. Uh, but it also gives us access to the kids' uh, water area or kids' pool area. So it's still really good. But right now, we're gonna go and enjoy the beach walk. Every evening, our goal was to always have an evening walk either before or after dinner. It is just relaxing to be able to walk by the ocean and get fresh breeze. One downside as we mentioned on the video one, there is for sure a lot of seaweed here which can be a bit annoying with the smell. During our walk we stumbled upon the teens club area. Now our kids are not old enough to use this facility, however we were still allowed to check them out. The facility is great if you're traveling with your teenage kids. There are a lot of fun planned activities such as video games, pool table, dance and more. You can also order food and drinks while there. They also have a family time when everyone is welcome to enjoy the facility, but for the majority of time it is reserved for teens. Teenagers about 13 to 17, but we have also the family time from 3 to 6 every day okay. that everybody can come to play. Okay? Okay. After 6 those teenagers are allowed, they have to be about 13 to 17 and they have to show us, I mean, their parents have to come with us to show us their passport, fill the form and that's it, okay? Okay, thank Hello. you. Early in the evening, they had a jungle themed show for the kids. As they were getting ready, we decided to have some kids friendly drinks. And then we checked out the adult bar located upstairs and also the cafe for some savoring sweets. As previously mentioned, there are several restaurants within the facility and some of them are just grab and go facility. For dinner, we each decided to take our kids on a date. Initially, we wanted to go to the steakhouse again, but the lines were long. So we settled for the buffet restaurant. Even though we were at the same restaurant, we still sat in different table. This was a special time for each of our kids. So right now on the date with Abigail. And mommy is on the date with Samuel. We're gonna see how their, their date goes. So right now it's just Abigail and I. No, we're not gonna call them. Cheers. For day three, it was a beautiful sunny day at first, so we decided to make it an outdoor day. First task of the day, as always, it was breakfast at the Gourmet Marché. As previously mentioned, this was the main restaurant for breakfast, unless you just wanted a quick coffee and sweet, which you can get at the cafe. And today is going to be super hot, so I'm praying for a little bit of rain. Just a little bit. So if we can get a little bit of rain, that would be great. It's sunny today. No, it's going to be super sunny, Abigail. Super, super sunny. After breakfast, we decided to start our outdoor day with the swim at our swim out pool. Did we mention that there were a lot of iguanas around the properties? This little fellow was just outside the pool area. If you want a drink, a server walked by our pool area and will ask us what we wanted. Which was really cool and on this day, the coconut guy was passing by so we had coconut. Soon after, it was time for lunch. As mentioned before, you can grab and go lunch or you can just go to the restaurant. This is where we went. Yeah. 
After that, we wanted to enjoy the pool area, but unfortunately, it started raining, so we checked out the gym and spa instead. This gym is huge given the amount of people that the hotel hosts daily. This gym containing all the machines one will need to exercise. They also have outdoor tennis court. If you are into exercising, this is for sure something that we recommend checking out. As for the spa, we will speak about it on day 4 activities as we had space booked for the last day of our trip. The sun came out so we checked out the beach and it was lovely. We stayed there for about 3 hours. The only downside to this beach area is the seaweed. Dinner time came and today we decided on an Indian restaurant. Dress code is enforced at this restaurant so be sure to check out that requirement on the hotel website and the restaurant page. For this restaurant, it is also recommended for you to have a reservation as it gets packed. However, one way to beat the system is to always show up when they're open. This is the same for all the restaurants. The earlier you eat, the better chance you have to get a table. To be fair, if you've never eaten at a good Indian restaurant, you will probably enjoy this. However, for us, this was a 3 out of 5 Indian restaurant. The kids had option of nuggets and fries while we went with butter chicken. Overall, the restaurant had a great ambience and the servers were super friendly. After dinner, we went for our evening beach walk. While there, there were picture sections happening and also a private beach dinner. It was a cool scene to see before the evening show. Before the evening show, we decided to get some ice cream at the cafe and then some drinks at the bar. As we stated in previous video, they had evening show every single night and for today it was the Michael Jackson show night. It was a good show and we enjoyed listening to the music and remembering what a music icon Michael was. For day 4 I decided to wake up and save us one of the cabanas. I was successful. Good morning. Today is day four of our adventure here in Cancun. It's early super morning. Morning. And uh, we're I'm just going on a walk right now. Today again, just chill day. We have a spa schedule. Uh, the kids have a kids club time today. We'll see how the last day goes. Uh, here. We decided to skip the breakfast and go to the hotel pool quest of trying all the pools in the facility. First order of business, the kids water park, where the kids had an enjoyable time. Then we started hitting all other pools and end up at the main pool.
waited at the main pool. They had their foam party, which was also enjoyable. Word of advice, if you are with kids, pay attention to them as they can get lost in the foam. It rained a bit and then the sun came right back up. This was our sign to go to lunch. There are a lot of options for lunch, but we chose the buffet again. I know. More pool time and then it was time for our scheduled spa treatment. For the spa treatment is just a hydrotherapy treatment which I believe it leads you to eight different stations from the hot sauna to the cold ice bath. We were able to book this with our status with Marriott free of charge. Given that this is a free service, many elite members sign up for this. So the availability is limited. We were happy to be able to score this on our last day of our trip. Once you're done with all the sections, you can relax by these private chairs area. For dinner on our last night, we were able to book the tapayaki table at Zen. This is one of the restaurants that reservations are hard, especially for the hibachi table show. We are again were lucky to have these available for us to be able to experience on our last day there. The show was amazing and the food was good. I think the kids enjoyed this experience more than we did. All right, so we just had dinner and this beautiful, beautiful day. Just kidding, it's about to rain. Storm coming again. But we had dinner today at the Hibachi place, which wasn't too bad. It was actually good. It was the first meal we had that was great um, in comparison to steakhouse and everything else. So that's very interesting. So great meal today. Now time to go for an all white party. This night was also all white party night. But since it was raining, the party moved from the main pool area to the lobby. Let me tell you, this was a great experience to be part of. This was really great way of us ending our night and our trip here at Royalton. Our last night here and we're trying to enjoy it. Time to go have some fun. Get some ice cream and then enjoy it. In the morning of our last day here, it was raining as a sign of modern nature telling us goodbye. So we left our room and headed to check out. But before we do that, we are having our last meal service on this property. Enjoy your breakfast.
After breakfast, it was time to check out and catch our shuttle back to the airport. We used Nexus Tour and both of our drivers were friendly. This company was good during our trip, but we had a different experience during the next trip that we will cover on that video. Overall, this was a great trip with minor issues that we will cover during our hotel review. In that video, we will detail the shortfalls and the highlights of this trip. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this series of Cancun Royalty Riviera Part 2. If you did, smack the like button as it helps us with the algorithm. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Thank you again as always. See you on the next video.